Is the noble Baroness, the Minister, aware that President Manangagwe's niece was arrested in Harare yesterday for attempting to smuggle six kilograms of gold to Dubai? At a time when there have been no prosecutions for corruption, despite overwhelming evidence of gross corruption by ZANU PF government officials, what measures can Her Majesty's Government and the European Union take to ensure the independence of the judiciary in Zimbabwe? And what measures can be taken to encourage the South African Government to use its political and economic leverage with Zimbabwe to help resolve the crisis? Uh, my Lords, I'm afraid I was not aware of the um, Noble Lords' information um, uh, on the arrest in, uh, yesterday. Uh, we are working closely to try to uh, avoid corruption. We are working with our partners in the EU, um, and uh, we will continue to do so with the African Union and South Africa to try to reduce corruption in Zimbabwe. My Lords, sadly we have not seen sufficient progress towards the economic and political reforms that the government itself set out. The onus must be on the Zimbabwean government to deliver that progress. Our policy remains to support the people of Zimbabwe in moving towards a more democratic, stable and prosperous country. Uh, Lord. My Lords, does the government recognise that if we continue with our current policy, we will see the same results? Injustice and repression continue to be visited on the Zimbabwean people by their government, a growing humanitarian crisis and the need for ever-increasing amounts of emergency aid to prevent starvation. So will the Minister consider convening a roundtable of experts to develop a more strategic political and economic approach, including looking at how a post-COVID Marshall Plan for the region, accessible to countries that met specified governance and rule of law standards, could stimulate both economic recovery and democratic renewal in Zimbabwe and further afield? Uh, my Lords, as I said, we have not seen the progress that we want, and like the Noble Lords, we want to see both economic recovery and democratic renewal. Uh, so I'm very happy to meet with the Noble Lord to discuss that idea to help bring that about.